well, my pleasure. Well, I'm right here outside of the um, aquarium habitat, and up off to my right is actually our dining room window, which is awesome to look out at any time of day. Uh, we have such a unique landscape under the water, much like when we would look out the windows of the cupola or of the shuttle down back at Earth, such a unique perspective. Um, on a regular basis, we've actually been staging out of our wet porch, which is just back off my right shoulder, and that is really like our airlock out into the ocean. Daily, we've been sending two folks at a time out in one of these helmets that I'm wearing right now, and we're practicing doing um, what we would call an asteroid spacewalk. We've looked at different ways of working on an asteroid or working near an asteroid. Our first few days, we were working off of tethers and using a lot of climbing gear. That seemed to be a pretty easy way to maneuver, but it was really difficult to collect any samples. The geologist needs to be able to collect rock samples and to install instruments. And when you're just on a tether, it's hard to get stability. A different day, we looked at using what we called a boom. It was basically just a big, long pole with some attachment points. This seemed to provide a lot more stability, but it was very difficult to translate with, and it had a lot of overhead. Yesterday, we had an awesome experience when we got to put on what we're calling the super safer. Here in the water, it was essentially a jet pack with one directional uh, vector, but we used it to get us to work sites, and just as you can imagine, it zipped us right there. Again, the problem we noticed is holding a stability at a work site and having enough control with the jet pack to drive yourself into the work site and collect the sample. The reason why we're doing all of this here at the Aquarius Habitat of the Key Largo is because it is a lot easier to learn on, on Earth and to, a lot cheaper than going and getting to an asteroid and realizing that some of these methods just wouldn't work. So we are experimenting, we're helping develop the science, we're looking to explore with NASA and this partnership with the Aquarius Habitat and with NOAA and with NERC. So, Daddy, your, your former teacher, did you ever think that you would be using jetpacks on the bottom of the uh, the ocean floor learning how to fly to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I ever imagined doing this, and that's the cool part. Um, I would really want to tell my students is that if you apply yourself while you're young, and you learn all of your subject matter, you can do amazing stuff like this. You have to understand this to get to where we are today. All of us inside the habitat have studied science, and, uh, and it took us some pretty awesome places. Whether it's here, or roughly uh, 47 feet below the ocean surface, or 240 miles above the ocean surface where my colleagues are working in the International Space Station, Technology, engineering, and math is what gets you places. Di, we, Di, we want to thank you for joining us. You guys be safe and uh, have a good time to learn lots for us. Uh, we, thanks for calling us, and we really appreciate it. We're just having a very enjoyable and focused time. Thanks a lot, Donnie.